Have you ever wanted to live trace a highly detailed image, but Illustrator keeps simplifying the artwork and you lose most of the details? Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do that and retain most, if not all, of the details. All right, let's jump right into this. So first thing we're going to do is open up our artwork in Photoshop. And one important detail to note is the higher the resolution, the better quality you'll get from the live trace. So for this example, we're using a 500 DPI image. The first thing we're going to do once we have the artwork open is go to select color range and select the color range we want to isolate. In this case, we'll click on the blue area and adjust the fuzziness slider until we get the look that we want. This will be good for this example. Click OK. Now click M for the marquee tool. Right click on the artwork and go to make work path. Leave the tolerance at one and click OK and let it do its magic. So what this does is make a work path as if you were using the pen tool to create paths for all the detailed areas. So once we have that done, go to File, Export, Paths to Illustrator, make sure Work Path is selected, which would be right there, and click OK. And save it to desktop, we'll call it Flower. Now once that's exported, let's open that file in Illustrator. Click OK. Once the file is open, you actually won't see anything, and that's because all of the artwork is a path. So if you press Ctrl A to select everything in the file, you will see that now the artwork is selected. Uh, choose a random color, we'll just go with red just to get an idea of what it's doing. As you can see, it's not exactly what we wanted and that's totally okay because that means that the overlapping paths are creating a lot of these solid areas. So the next step is to press Ctrl A, make sure everything is selected, open up Pathfinder. If you don't have that visible, go to Window, Pathfinder, and click on the last icon on the first row. To it. And what that does is deletes anything that overlaps. And this might take a minute depending on your computer and the file itself. And as you can see, that's the finished artwork. And if we zoom in, you can see that it, it's not perfect, but at least we have a lot more details than we would otherwise. Now, one thing to note is that, as you can see, there's a lot of vector points, meaning that this file will be large and more difficult to work with depending on how you use it. So that's something to note. So typically I will use this method when I need to preserve as much detail as possible and as a last resort as the files do become quite large and difficult to work with at times. But if you absolutely need a perfect way to live trace as much detail as you can, this will be the way to go. So if you appreciate this tutorial, the best way you could give your thanks is by giving this video a like to help with the algorithm and perhaps share it with another design buddy that might be able to utilize this in their workflow. And uh, consider subscribing if you would like to see more tutorials such as this one. Thank you.